All right, what's good, YouTube? Got another video for you guys today. Today's video is a fun one and one that is pretty subjective. So I hope you guys bear with me here. I want to hear your ideas too on it for sure. A team of underrated IRL baseball players, MLB players, whatever you want to call it, guys that I feel like that are really solid ball players that didn't that either aren't superstars by fault of their name or, or whatever it may be, or lack of marketing on MLB side, whatever it is, guys who are solid. Guys who are really solid, but just who don't get the love I think they deserve, who are really top players at their positions, and their value is a lot higher than you would think. First up, Brandon Nimmo from the Mets. Brandon Nimmo is an on-base machine. He's honestly a really, really solid hitter. He hits for decent power, but he hits for an insanely high average when he's on the field. He plays an above-average defense. He played a really solid center field for his first year in center this year. As you can tell by his reflective finest card here, his defense is highly rated because he was good this year. He's got a very solid arm. He runs well. I got him there, man. I'm a Mets fan, so call it bias, but I really do believe he's a very solid player who needs to get more love than he gets already. He doesn't have flashiness to his name, so he doesn't get the love, but he's very solid. You guys will see it this year. I've, I feel like in, you know, the 2022 season, Brandon Nimmo will have a big, big year. Just my thoughts if he stays healthy. Brian Reynolds, one of the best players in baseball last year. Kind of didn't really get any, any he's not, his name's not sexy as well, but here he is. Center fielder, insanely good um, value. Top, top, top defender at his position. Great bat. Good um, pop from both sides of the plate. Switch hitter is, is really good value. Center field, very big position too. So I got him there. You know, said he had a 30-30 year last year. That's very impressive. First year not being a switch hitter, just hitting lefty. Demon, got him in left field. Yuli Gurriel, I feel like, I feel like he has been solid for the last couple years. He's not phenomenal, but he's a solid player. I don't think he gets the love that he, he, he you know, he deserves. He is a multiple position player who hits quite well. I got him there in the four spot. Yon Mankata in the, th in, in the uh, third base in the five spot. I think Mankata, he's always like top five to seven in a lot of offensive categories. He never really gets the love from the press. Maybe it might be because he is a... Well, he was a big prospect, but he's not really been a superstar. He has not played at that level yet, but he's getting real close. Switch hitter, plays third, first, and second. I have him as a super high value player. Tim Anderson, and again... He's got some star power to his name. The Field of Dreams game was lit, but I feel like he's really just a very solid player that should be, he should be a superstar, man. We should be promoting the hell out of this guy. That's just what I think. Max, Mun Max Muncy, the last two to three years, has been a high value position player. One of the best defenders at his position. Gets on base a lot. Slugs really, really high. Just not sexy name, you know? So Max Muncy got him on second base. Will Smith. Catcher was a little tougher to get, but Will Smith, very, very solid player. He's a 98 for an August player of the month card. Uh, versus righties, he's got the pop. The contact ain't really there. First left, he's a destroyer. Fielding-wise, solid. I'm going to be honest. He's solid for, uh, uh, behind the dish with the fielding. Got a strong arm. He actually plays third base, too. He's got home body, so he's got a live series quirk, which is nice to see. Bench, Brandon Crawford, coming off the best year of his career in his oldest season. <laughs> Funny enough. He's been really good, man. He's been a good player most of his career, so I like this guy. I'll have him in the bench. Brandon Lau, he probably should be starting. I think he's a little more underrated than Muncy. Maybe he should be starting over Yuli, but... We used Brandon Lau in a million team builds this year, so he'll be on the bench. Frank Swindle had an insanely good year last year out of nowhere, uh, I believe as a rookie, so that's cool. Kike Hernandez, is he underrated or is he just undervalued? I don't know. I think he's undervalued. His positional flexibility is, super, is superb. He had a great year last year in the postseason as well, so I'm going to give him uh, a spot on this team. And AJ Pollock, who's really picked up his defense the last couple years and who's really been a well, he's, he's bounced back. He was he was having a, a promising career in the, on the Diamondbacks. Started to fall off a little bit. Injuries started haunting him, but He's back. He had a great year last year. I like AJ Pollock. I think he's super, he's a super, super good player. I will have him on the bench here too. These two are demons off the bench. Both of them with the pinch hitter quirk. Pitching this game is going to be Brandon Woodruff. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him this year in the game, but good numbers all the way around. He had a really, really solid year. He actually was in competition for the Cy Young last year. He was a little bit behind Corbin Burns, obviously, who ended up winning his own teammate. He wasn't as good as Corbin Burns, in my opinion, but he was pretty close. As far as the card goes, Max velocity, max break, but unfortunately, it doesn't have outlier. So, you know, it sucks. I really wish they'd get rid of outlier. I don't think it has any place in the game, especially on sinkers. I think it'd be better if 99 velocity was just 99 velocity, which is 102, and then it scales down from there. Shout out, not Nate, 99 for that for that idea. Um, four seam, two seam, 12 six curve changeup, and a slider. The slider looks a little bit slow. It's the same speed as the changeup. That's problematic. You'd want to see a 90 mile per hour plus slider at least, or 88 to 90 range. Hopefully, you can throw it harder than it, you know than it starts. As far as the bullpen goes, normal bullpen. Uh, it won't work with underrated. It doesn't really work with this kind of theme. So we got we got to have a competition or a competitive, excuse me, competitive bullpen. 
Rest of the guys in the rotation, Freddie Peralta, Lance McCullers, Frankie Montes, and Zach Wheeler. I know Zach Wheeler was pretty much a runner-up for Cy Young last year, but he was still under underrated, undervalued in an insane year last year, and he was an absolute workhorse. Long intro, guys. I apologize for that, but I had to break it down for y'all, um, for those who are interested in this kind of stuff. And if you're not, you probably skipped already right to the video anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if you guys are hyped for the video, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel, and put that bell on if you're new, if you haven't already. All right, fellas, let's hop right into this team build. All right, after forever, we got a game. Who's against? Vanderbilt Kayate. Yippee Kayate. I'm going to need the greatest start Brandon Woodruff could ever have in his life. I'm going to need it right now. Come on, Brandon. <laughs> That's a real name. Okay, all right. Timmy. That boy, Timmy. Oh. I, I forget how good that Tim Anderson was that they dropped. I just really don't like his swing. Him and Frank Thomas have that same finish. I don't like it. Not ideal. Um, why do I feel like he didn't really touch that? Hmm. Okay, because I was right. The movement isn't as good. What the hell? Brian! Nope. No! That's going to be a triple. Bro, what... I, that was so far inside. No, I know I tripled up on it, but bro, what? Late? I went that far when it was late? Yo, I'm so conf Is this guy playing with sliders on? Like boosted? No, I mean, I'm not even joking, fellas. All right, we're down to nothing. But bro, this doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's keep going. I don't understand the Trout one. And he had a non-PCI home run, a late triple. I'm so confused. All right, come on, Brandon. Can that leave? Please. There's no way. There's no way I'm this unlucky. Four pitch walk. That's all we need to get something started. Come on, Yuli. Yuli. Tie the game, baby. Oh, my God. They're not going to do it to me. They done did it to me, bro. Woo! All right. First inning was absolutely brutal. I don't know. I feel like we're playing different games. Okay. Well, okay. Maybe Brandon Woodruff is a lot easier to read than I thought he was. Bro. This guy has no... There's no boundaries to his PCI. It just goes... That's an 0-2 pitch out of the zone by a foot. Oh, hell no. Yeah, we're playing different video games. Got him on it. Let's go. Free swinger, man. A little 100 piece from Woodruff. All right, this inning is going to be a lot better, bro. It's going to be a lot better. We did what we could last inning, man. Nope. Base runners, baby. Come on, Timmy. No shot, right? Timmy, come on, bro. That can't be a double play, right, dog? Now they're squared up. It's early, but damn. All right, next inning, man. We got, I mean, look, there's nothing we could do. That cannot miss there. All right, he's a free swinger, man. I'm going to capitalize on this. Got him on it. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's hit. Good pitch. Brandon Nemo. Come on. Bro, don't let him don't let that get caught again. Thank you. Brandon Nimmo, man. Two to one. That's all I needed. I'm about to lose it if that guy caught. How does that? What the? Oh, my God. That spot's so uncomfy. Hey, we got one back. We're back in business, baby. Got to keep taking good swings. No, he didn't. I mean, he didn't. Too much play. All right, lucky, though. All good. He can't lay off of it. He loves it. Way too inside. Brandon, get there, baby. All right. Three, four, five. Let's go. Seti, Yuli, Mancala. That should be game tied. I mean, that's point blank period. That should, that should be game tied. It rubber banded and launched it foul. That's just early on a boss in the middle of the zone. That's another one, too. That one's not as bad. 
Good out. Let's go. I should have homered to tie the game. That's fine, though. Come on, Yuli. There we go. Tie game. Oh, give me the lead, actually. I don't know math. Yo, Yuli's swing is lit. Bumba. Blachada. 452 on a hanger. Beautiful. You're 80 speed. You gotta get ass down, bro. Let's go. Ow. I didn't see that coming. Good pitch. I should have walked. Good pitches. Good pitches. We got the lead and we're putting a lot of pressure on him, man. Wow, that just blew his brains out. Holy sh. Okay, okay. <clears throat> oh my god, with my 13? Was that voice crack? Got him on. Let's go. I knew he didn't read that one last last time at all. Got him on it. Nice and early. Get there, yo. I'm on cada. All right. Let's get it, baby. I'm going to need B to, piss, to step it up. Reynolds. Big Bad Brian. He was Big Bad Brian. Now he's Big Brian. He's got to be Big Bad Brian again. I blew that at bat when I missed the fastball. Straight down the middle. I knew that was coming all over it, baby. There's Big Bad Bry. He's back. Dink. Oh, I missed the sign. Piss. Anyways, Brian. What a tank piece, man. Challenges, then lag, and then that, and then me just being an idiot. Yuli again. Oh, he's driving the ball. I mean, he should be having he should have three home runs, but he really doesn't have that much power. <laughs> I mean, he he nuked one, but he also has two balls into the PCI that just went zero feet. What? Just early and above it. That's... I, I've been there, man. I've been on the receiving end of that. Uh, I, I mean, that's just... It looked fat, even though it was low. Guy's a free swinger, bro. Oh, go three. Loop's done. You did a great job. Now daddy's in. And now, it's, now the fun's over for you, man. You had fun, but now it's not as much fun. That is, yeah, yeah. That, that's called being done dirty. Got him on it. Right to my man, Maximilian. Over to Yuli. No shot. No. Why is that a roller, bro? Dude, how is that a roller? Wow. That was a putrid one, two, three. Right to me, Mancada. Oh, the largest hip-hop on this side of Mississippi. My God, that shit sound like I was popping my... Anyway. No shot. I gave an 0-2 f pitch to mash up on. Brian. 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 Nope. No. I let him t I let him get on the down by one, bro. Come on. Yo, that can't be a foul ball, bro. Late. I have a swing and a miss on a ball inside the inner PCI just early. I'm not comfy with it. I need it. I'm, I'm embarrassed this game isn't, isn't fair. That's going to be a hit because he just pressed X. That's crazy. Yeah, he just committed to a swing and a bat no matter where that pitch was. But I can tell by him running. Wow needs redemption. He got pulled. I had him at second base for a while, but he just started to ruin games. He needs redemption. Nope. Okay, anyways. Absolutely destroyed. Get that shit out of Brandon Amos' face. One of the best cards in the game. If you have no one else. I'm just kidding. Brandon was really good. Demon. Squeaking. I'm squeaking it in there. Bad read on your end, bro. Eh, yeah. We knew we had to! Get little Isaac out the f*** out the game, bro. A Cedric game. One for two. He should have th 13 home runs this game. Quit. Quit on me. Little PP McGee. Little PP McGee. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Put that bell on. Don't look at this guy's rating. I am out. I love y'all, man. Brandon Woodruff, underrated. Peace.